So Franco, welcome to Glasgow Warriors. Tell us about what it means to you to be the new head coach of Glasgow. Well, first of all, I'm really appreciative of the opportunity. Um, uh, I mean, it's a privilege to come out here. Yeah, I think it's a proud club and uh, with a rich tradition um, of a certain type of rugby and a certain type of brand with, with a certain type of um, supporter. So looking really forward to, to, to be a part of this history and part of the the, the build of uh, the future of this club. We appreciate you've only been in a few hours and a few days so far. How have those days been so far? Yeah, no, like it, it, it's been brilliant. Uh, a real warm welcome from everybody, and uh, I've, like, I feel this excitement about. I know that there's a lot of hard work been put in uh, already. The effort and since the start of the season has been immense. So um, there's a good vibe about. And the people are working hard, and they um, really anticipating a, a, a good new season ahead. Eh? You talked about effort and hard work. How do you come in as a head coach and start building on the building blocks that have been put in place already? No, I think the guys are making it really easy. Uh, the coaching group that's been working with the players up to now has been brilliant. They, uh, uh, there's definitely a good mind about how they went about, a train of thought how they went about preparing for the, for the season so far. And the players are very excited. Uh, my head, already meet some of them and had one-on-ones with them to just understand what uh, the, where they're at and where about we're going and so and they were very excited about what's been done um, so it's, it's it's good news it's good news it's a good platform to start to build from can you tell us a little bit more about your approach to working with with the playing group and um, through your experiences to and coaching so far no obviously it's um, going to be a little bit new to a lot of them some what some of the stuff that i do i um, I'm actually really appreciative to see the guys day by day again. You know, if you coach an international level, you don't see the players that often. And something that I now appreciate again to to have opportunity to, you know, to be innovative, to be um, to to think a little bit out of the box, but also to 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 work with the players' uh, mentality, their hearts, the uh, way they go go about their business. To see if we can't, um, you know, maybe uh, realize their dreams and. Um, to get the best out of them will be very important for me. So um, I'm really excited to the, fa the fact that they are coachable. They really look like a bunch of guys that, that wants to um, rectify mistakes maybe, but also grow and develop into the best they can be. Go back a step. What was the attraction to coming to Glasgow and be back in the URC working in a, a competition that's fairly new in some ways? What was the attraction to that? Well, I think it's obvious that the, the way the Glasgow Warriors have gone about their business over the years was always attractive. I followed them, obviously prepped against them since 2010. Um, I know what Gregor brought here, I know what Dave left here. Danny did a good job and I'm sure that uh, the excitement of the way they play, the, 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 the surface that was changed to suit the way and the needs of the um, support Supporters looking and watching them play every week was um, has obviously appealed to me, and uh, and therefore you know looking forward to 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 get that uh, brand going. As you know, Glasgow is a very values-driven club. You've already spoken about the the Warrior Nation. How how much did that appeal to you coming in, and and what have you seen so far? You see the the values printed all around the stadium. How much is that? An attraction, and how can you use that going into the, your time as a coach? Now look, for me, rugby is just a vehicle to influence people's lives. And once you've seen what they stand for, what the club stands for, what the the players believe in, and the standards that they've put out for themselves, it always um, it's heartwarming, and it always gives you a sense of comfort that uh, even if we, everything doesn't go that well on the pitch, there's going to be camaraderie, there's going to be uh, friendships built, there's going to be influence in each other's life, and people, players that will go out and make a difference away from the game with the experience that they have because values is not just what you take onto the field it's not about just winning games through that it's about how you live your life how you become that hero everybody wants to be and the example for the young kids um, in the future so very excited to see the, the values to understand that they um, they follow these values they try and live these values what are your objectives for this coming season we're only a few weeks away from the start of the, the season no, obviously uh, the objective is to as, as quickly as possible, you know, um, get the guys to adapt to what, to what I want. Not just the, the players, but also the coaches. Be clear in what we want. 
And then, obviously, you know, we want to be significant. We want to be not necessarily successful, but we want to make a difference. And the approach we win, we go about is going to be important. So, three important things for me: we always want to play a winning brand. We want to play a brand that uh, is excitable, ex that, that excites people to watch, and it's good to uh, good to look at. And then, obviously, um, a brand with which the supporters can associate. Players going out there, really giving their best, really applying themselves, and commit and. and while they're really committed in, in, in whatever they believe in. So that is going to be the main success in the first part of the, in, of the main objectives in the first part of the, the, um, the season. And then obviously we will have our individual um, game related and season related objectives, which will be clear in the way we go about our business. You addressed the players for the first time today. What, is there something you can share with our supporters that you, you specifically share with them today? Yeah, first of all, um, I think the game is about uh, giving and not receiving. Um, the players must know they must go out there and, and give something of, of, of themselves. You know, rugby um, is, is, is for me is to give the ball to somebody in a better position, and that is the way of life as well. So we are here to not to get, but to give and to excite the people that, that believes in this club and, and, that, and follows the club and support it. So. Um, yeah, I think that is the main theme this morning, is that we're going to be out there um, surprising ourselves and then everybody watching um, what we're trying to do out there.